Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am showing the, as per the cable tray calculation how we can do the cable tray in our rivet. So for example here I made out some um, calculation for the uh, cable tray. For example this is the uh, equipments. Okay so it's it's having uh, cables a uh, number of cable 2 and the power cable tray power cable size is uh, I mentioned here okay so if, if I mention like that and even the, the cable sizes and cable type and even the uh, earth cable and everything is here and diameter dimensions and everything and even the weight <clears throat> as per this automatically it will generate the um, cable tray actual size okay so if, if i change this one okay for example i'm changing this one so it will be uh, there will be variable okay so we, we can find like uh, for example i'm changing this one so it, it's coming as 780 the space occupied is around 780 so we cannot accommodate the cables in 750 cable tray. so what we can choose with that one so we will type like on like uh, um, 900 cable tray we can use for that one okay so approximately they will show here and i will i'll change this one also 185 so it will come around as per like whatever we giving as per that it will be changed so we cannot accommodate uh, cable train uh, we don't have a standard cable train for 800 something like that so we choose 900 and you will be get all the uh, uh, weights all the details over here so this is for example this is lv5 and from the lv5 we have this much equipment so how this will be distributed in, in our rivet how how we can uh, use this one i will show you so for example we have uh, some equipment in rivet okay so i will I'll place one for example this is one lv room so i will place uh, some equipment over here electrical equipment so i will choose uh, one equipment electrical equipment sorry this not this one okay for example this one i will use here so i will i need to i need to give some size uh, over here for example this one is uh, normal size okay so here you can give all the details uh, whatever you need you can give the details over here for example i am giving this one one is 800 okay so 800 i am giving here okay and i will call this one uh, as a like i will edit type and uh, duplicate this one and i will uh, name it as a this one uh, i will I'll copy this one this is cable tray tag and this one is the name is this one lv 51 b okay and then then i will click okay and i am giving the tag for this one okay and uh, if, if it's not showing i'll, I'll check this one uh, the tag uh, who is what so just click on this uh, notation tag and it is showing panel name uh, uh, it, it will show there okay as for the uh, tag so i will click on this one and i will give the panel name okay panel name where we can get it from this uh, we will get the panel name from here but it was not showing so we will change this one as a another uh, another category we can choose it okay from here label go to label and i will remove this one and i will put this one as a type mark okay type mark i just place that one and just place it okay and load on the project okay over and click it that one and i go here and i will give a type marker like this okay so it will show like this okay so you can you can fix this one like uh, presentation wise you can click the like this and i need another another one more like uh, lv 51 b so there will be three uh, for example there will be three cabinet okay so i will i can place another one also 800 and 800 so the three panel is here okay for example this is the lv5 panel and we'll have a um, uh, will have a two and uh, one another smdb also okay. so for example i'm, I'm just uh, removing one from here okay and i will create uh, sorry where, where it's gone i'll just click on that and i will remove this one okay and you will put it dash this one okay so so i need to create another one create similar and i will place uh, here and and it, it's need some distance okay so i will i will give as a 400 from this one okay <clears throat> And I and give a name as like another SMDP. Okay, for SMDP, this one I will I'll give. Okay, I can give this one. Okay, this name I will give you. Okay, I'm duplicate it and I will just give a SMDP two of them. And the type mark I will give it the same thing. Okay, and then uh, then I'm giving the tag for that one. Okay, so the two panel is created and we can uh, see how it's work. So the first one um, required 900. Okay, 900 means you need to just we can increase this one is not matching so we will reduce this one as per previously like you can you can edit here okay for the cable size as per your schedules and the load you can change everything so uh, for example i'm changing 995 for this one okay you can change it as per your uh, calculations so, so no issue this is for just uh, reference i am uh, giving this 
okay so it will come around uh, 775 so i will change this one also and like, like that you can edit it okay or because now it's showing 725 so i will put this one 750 then and then we will see how it's work so here also i'm changing you can change it here uh, whatever you need i just change 185 for this all okay for example 185 okay and this one also i'm giving 185 so like that as per your schedule you can uh, maintain these things okay for uh, this is a simple exercise for creating um, schedule as per calculations as per uh, your calculations and everything okay so this is also i will give a 150 Okay, so we can say this one, uh, this cable track uh, required uh, 750 required here. So just type 750. Okay, so you can you will be get all the diameter for the cable dia and everything you will be get in the Excel sheet. So how it's work we will see. Okay, so we place a two panel and uh, we need to, for example, there, there will be another some, some area somewhere it, it will become here the equipment system here. I'm just for the training purpose I'm just giving this one. Okay, first we need to create this one SMB this one so we we'll copy that one and we, we will create one SMB for this one and I will place somewhere somewhere here okay and uh, I will remove the, this one as 400 okay and uh, just click on that and we need only one okay so just uh, we will say like this okay and just uh, this one will duplicate it okay just give it that name and uh, we will type mark we just giving that like that okay so and I just giving a uh, tag for this <laughs> If you don't want this um, leader, you can uh, remove uh, remove the leader from here also, okay? And you can fix it uh, above the panel or uh, wherever you need. Okay, so the same thing, we need another panel, okay? Another panel name is uh, um, as, uh, like uh, like three, four panel, okay? For I'm not giving any three panel we required, okay? For this one also, I will copy from here, another, pa another panel. Okay, then uh, we will uh, duplicate this one. Duplicate and giving the name like that, and even the type mark also, we will give uh, the name, okay? So then tag and you uh, sorry then tag and remove this leader then we this is the panel for that okay uh, like that we will we can arrange all the panels okay next panel is like a um, um, smdb pumps okay so we'll just uh, take smdb pump from here and create similar and we will play uh, for the pump we will place another locations okay we'll be for for example we are placing here for pump okay so then just leave it uh, rename that one pump and to give the type mark for pump okay like that and just give a tag so three is created and another one is which one db1 and 2 so what we can do we need to create a go to system tab and electrical equipment we need to create some dbs okay so I'm, for example i am choosing this one and i giving level one is 1200 so i will place this dbs over here one db is here and one db is here so you can adjust it as per your locations i am just for the practicing purpose i am just showing this one and this one we will edit this one as a db1 okay and giving a name like a uh, type mark we can give the name db1 different way you can give the uh, tagging okay so this is just uh, for the purpose i'm um, just uh, for understanding i'm just giving this one okay so db2 and just give the type mark uh, uh, db2 okay. and then just give the tag this is db1 and this is db2 okay now now that much is fixed and another other some also there so i'm not considering that one as now uh, you can you can copy it this two and uh, we can place it somewhere i'm not giving any, any names okay you can you can name it as, as as per your schedules and we can start okay so for example this cable tray is coming from this this panel okay so we need to find the route which way is the perfect to come over there so um, we'll go here and uh, we need to first we need to start uh, the cable tray reference okay so i am copying this one okay then uh, we can edit it this and duplicate this one and we'll give a cable to reference like this and even the type mark also you can give that one and even in the comments also um, descriptions also you can give this one even the type command also you can give the descriptions okay then click okay uh, then we will uh, we will draw the cable train okay so we will start from this panel okay so the size we need required how much it's required 750 okay 750 is the uh, size required and we'll be choosing like this okay so for for this cubic it's starting uh, like uh, 750 okay 750 we started and we need to find the route okay so what i'm cho choosing i am going on this way okay or otherwise otherwise you can go on another way also like like this you can uh, you, you can draw okay and it will go like that up to here okay then uh, then then we need to reduce the cable trace uh, like uh, even in the two it will come how much it will come you need to calculate it that one okay so for example this two having um, 
is two. Okay, so I think one hundred is enough, or three. I, I will let's say let's say three hundred. Okay, so then we from here we just reduce that one, and we just go like this. Okay, up to here we have equipment. If you have equipment over here, you can place it that one also. Okay, so for example, I'm just moving this one little bit up. Okay, so then again we need each table tray on this one. Okay, so what we can do, for example, this one, for, for this for this one, I I need how much cable is going in to check it that one. For example, this one 70 mm cable, um, this, um cable, cable size is 70 mm. So we'll choose like a 300 mm cable tray for that. Create it. Okay, then just uh, uh, choose 300. You can you can calculate it from there. Okay, so just uh, select it like this, and even the same thing. Okay, for this one, just uh, connect it to this one. Or maybe it was not connecting okay so the, the distance is very, very small so you can use like this okay then then you can go like this okay then uh, drop it over here as per as per your schedule you can adjust it all the things okay so we need some uh, gap uh, gap required over so i'm uh, this one uh, from here i am changing this uh, if you need to change to this 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 one so you can change it okay so we'll, we'll say say this one required of 450 so it was it was created like this okay so same things you can um, you can make it over here also okay uh, i need a 300 for dropping on this one and even 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 this one you can need to uh, like like that you can make it okay and then create similar i need three 100 cable tray or uh, you're connecting to this old db okay so like that you can make it okay so it will connect like this so it was not connecting over here so what we can do we can um, take a branch from other way okay so you can choose like this also as per yours maybe it will not you can this is not a good way like uh, you can bend like this you can reduce the <coughs> quantity of the cable tray also so there will be no space to um, uh, draw, uh, make a uh, T over there. So that is what we just uh, made it like that. Otherwise, you can make it uh, one thing. Like you can just uh, drop this one, and you just uh, you can you can the two cable tray you need to drop over here, and you can sp split like that. Okay, so just you need to change the size of the cable tray. And uh, for example, here also you can just make it like that. Okay, so then just a tr command and join that one. So it will it will uh, connect it to uh, the panels. So like that you can uh, you can make this day uh, the things the same way you can use use for another uh, another cable table. So so where whichever equipments you can use and you can give that one and give the number of cables and everything uh, showed over here. And this one need to drop the panel. Okay, so just to make a section and just go go to view. Okay, and then find from here. Okay, the scale also you can change it. Okay, so the, the height is showing very um, very like this uh, compared to here. It's, it's low. I, I didn't forget to tell you the level of the cable tray. So I'm choosing this one. Height is this one, but it was too long. So just giving like three thousand. Okay, three thousand five hundred. It was it was also in above floor. Okay, so we'll just say three thousand. We'll just type for three thousand. Okay cable tray uh, level then then what we can do just to just to draw from here draw from here and drop into the panel so like that you can arrange the things uh, in, in in so if you can see this one how it's going in this 3d so you can see here it's uh, it's going like that is it going to the corridor and dropping to the panels okay so another way you see this one it's totally it's going to be uh, distributing all the systems okay in in, in that manner we need to uh, make this uh, um, all the um, panel uh, all the cable tray dropping to the panel so what we can do just go here okay just make it a section from here we better to make it from the sections that is clear for you and the, even this one also you can um, draw a cable tray from here i think here is a little bit of height is over there so we can just split to this one from here is sp sl for the split okay then we can just increase the size of the increase the level of the cable tray so see the, the ceiling up to here so you just you can um, make the uh, cable tray up to here and uh, you can place over here and like you can drop the cable tray like this if you see the uh, 3d view how it's work so it's dropping to the panel you can see clearly see the cable tray is uh, um, dropping to the panel also so like that we can de uh, design and even the computes also we can show it here and uh, and another things you can just uh, main you can join this to the different level so you can see in the 3d how it's how it's look um it was it was going like this okay so if you want to uh, make it uh, make it up this cable tray the same level also you can do it that one so what we can do just uh, delete this one and we can just give the level of this one it's like a uh, same level of this cable tray or like i can say like uh, 3750 it will it will go, go up also otherwise you can make it a little bit more 4200 
okay so then depends upon the ceiling heights and everything you can maintain the uh, levels okay first you need to check the all the uh, levels and everything about the architectural drawing first you study about that one then you decide if you some some other things also coming here like a lactate and everything you need to coordinate with that okay so this is a simple exercise to uh, making a cable tram as per our excel sheets okay so the same same procedure you need to do do for all the equipment wherever you place it and go there and just uh, draw cable tram from here okay then just drop into the panel so you can adjust from here like this from the keyboard okay so just uh, check it that one how it's work so this all are uh, going like this okay dropping the panel the cables will be drop the panel so this one also you can adjust the panels and everything as per the dropping cable tram so you can see it's it's clearly dropping to the panel okay, simply simple this is a simple exercise if you like my video please subscribe this is more detail i will i'll show you and more training also if you need a training so you just contact me through whatsapp i'm, I'm giving this one in the uh, description box okay so this <coughs> this uh, this panels uh, containing cables also so i will show you in the next video how how we can uh, run the uh, conduits and everything okay so i will show you one more this one okay the, for the db also you need to drop the cable tray draw cable tray and it will come to the panel so you can adjust like this also um, and if you look at the 3d view of this one so you can see a cable tray coming here and dropping to the panel same way for this one and you can adjust the, the same exercise for another uh, things i'm not showing that one so the same way we are using for dropping this one so this is a simple exercise if you like my video please subscribe it thank you for watching thanks for your support and everything so if you full full you can see here full full cable tray how it's work i'll show you one more time okay so you can see here cable tray how it's gone okay just uh, dropping down a little bit see the net the cable tray network it's coming like this okay from the panel uh, it is coming like this okay then if, if you if you face some problem like this okay so you can um, you can adjust from here also uh, like uh, uh, you can move move a little bit okay as per your um, requirement like as per the possibility to run the cable tray you can you can make the things like that okay wherever it's coming as per the coordinations you can adjust the things so these things i hopefully you guys understood if you like my video don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching it's fully related to autocad and private thank you